So recently I had a another Twitch argument, you know, recently I posted a video where I had a, a, a disagreement with one of my mods and the mod hasn't been seen since then because apparently, you know, if you don't have the same opinion as each other and you can't associate with each other. But anyways, that's not about the, that's what this video is about. Um, I had a recent conversation on my Twitch stream about support and I want to make this video to have a, an, an actual general conversation and bigger conversation about Twitch support and, and how, how, you know, it, it's misconstrued or how it should work, how it shouldn't work. And this kind of goes back into a video that I had, you know, months ago about Twitch entitlement, both from a viewer perspective and from, from a streamer's perspective. There's a lot of entitlement in content curation. So, you know, check the video out. I have a like to your left or to your right in that, at the end of the video as, as well. Um, as always, do all these often likes, you know, like the video, comment, and subscribe. Um, this is a general conversation. I'm not trying to attack people. Some people feel like they're being attacked when you have these conversations. But I had a conversation with Twitch stream about support and this person, they want to be a mod. And they basically question uh, my friends and how they support because of, you know, them not being as present as this person is. And they feel like they're entitled to being a mod because, you know, they're more present than other people. So here is that conversation the intro entirely like just fully gloss over the intro entirely i was watching my stream you know because i watch my own streams because you know if you can't watch your own content i'll just watch it and i was noticing that like whenever i play battlefield my camera shits the bed whenever i play battlefield i noticed that yesterday own time at all eh. it depends you know Popcorn doesn't come around, around anymore, but you know, when, when he did come around, he, he's, he sometimes he'll, he'll, he'll get here on time. And then ask like the only true viewer, you're like the only one who doesn't like lurk 24-7. Period. Period what? No, they're, they're both dead. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. him we're gonna get mod getting mod on my channel is very very hard because i don't just give mod to everybody more of a knowing people personally kind of situation i also already have like the max cell number of mods another transmitter's active mm -mm -mm. Speaking of, but well, one of their P one of them has a broken PC. The other one stopped coming around because he got into a freaking a little argument. The other one's working. It is three o'clock and people do have jobs. All of my mods are usually my age, so people who have a life. That poor soul. Ah. It's not about support. When I say they're my age to have a life, I mean they have work. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. For example, CJ, who just went to party chat, he leaves for work at five. He tries to play some games before he goes to work. He knew he works for retail, so he's usually not off until like 10 o'clock. Not live at 10 o'clock. Like, like all of my friends are in their 30s. I'm 30. So they all have things they're doing right now. And like other people who, you know, have either modern VIP, my brother just had a daughter, mm -hmm. so he's pretty busy. He also military, so again, busy. Potato doesn't get over till four o'clock. He hangs out when he can, which is usually like at least once or twice a week. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Raccoon was here yesterday. She was the only person who came to chat yesterday. Come over here, homie. No. Looking for me? And, and as for like the, the support thing, CJ, the, we don't talk about it a lot, but CJ has literally bought a lot of games that I stream without ever being asked to do so. Out. 
Potato has given the second most gift of subs in my stream. Raccoon has bought my merch. It's also donated funds here and there. <laughs> Teammate! So, it, it got kind of heated and much like the other person who has been my stream since we had our army about celebrities. Um, this person also has been around on my stream because of that. Like I said before, people kind of feel like if you have to say what they want you to say or do what they want you to do, to do and if you don't do what they want you to do, want you to say, then they're going to dip. And the, for, the first thing I want to touch on is the word entitlement to modhood or being modded. Um, Twitch mods work in a different way based on each streamer. Um, being a mod for me personally, as I said this in the video, is a personal thing where it's like I have to know you personally. I have to know you, you know, for a while. I have to associate you for a while. And this person, they did the, the follow age and they followed for two months. Two months isn't a long time. Like that's 60 days, you know, give or take, you know, the actual one day. If you were looking at months that have 30 different months have 31 days whatever semantics um but the other thing about it is you know all my mods i have the max number of mods which is not necessary at all for someone who's my size i average 1.5 viewers per per freaking stream so i don't need the max number of mods i don't even need one mod because you know i don't have enough viewers to, to warrant having a single mod to begin with but the people who are my mods are mods for a reason. The people who I personally know, people who I personally trust, people who I personally feel like can be a mod on a Twitch stream because they know how modding works. For example, Inu Onogami um, is a Twitch streamer. He does, he's, he's a VTuber. He does a lot of music streams. He plays a lot of um, anime related video games, a lot of, um, you know, side scrollers like Hades and whatnot. Very good content creator. He knows how Twitch works. He knows the system. He know, He's a content creator. Making him a mod, it's a simple thing. I've known Inu since high school. I'm 31 years old. Inu's in that age bracket. Inu, I, I, we met when I was a junior high school and he was a sophomore. So been a friend of, for, for that long. I know him personally. So not only is he a content creator, someone who I personally know, easy choice to be a mod. Um, Blue, Blueberry is my nickname for her. Um, she's also a content creator, also someone who in, in the Twitch space, she knows what a, a mod, you know, job is to do. I'm not going to like name every single person who I gave mod to, but you, you're going to get a general sense here. Also, she's my age. My friends are my mods and they're all in my age group. I'm 31 years old. I'm not going to have someone who's freaking, you know, 16, 18, 19 years old as my mod. You're not my friend. Like I said, this is like a, an attack anybody, but like I want someone as, as a mod who is someone who, is, who I know personally. And when it comes to anything on some VIPs, they're not going to just give someone VIP because they want it. You're not going to give someone a mod because they want to be mod. No streamer has a mod that they gave mod because the person asked to be a mod. That's not how it works. Or because they feel like they're entitled to being a mod. Or VIP. VIP is a little different though, because VIP you, you kind of get to someone who has been, you know, a, a, someone who's loyal to your stream, someone who comes to your stream a lot, someone who is a big supporter of your stream, and that's my VIPs work. My VIPs are friends who are mods who support my channel. And when it comes to that word support, support isn't just being a subscriber. Support isn't watching every single stream. I, I stream four days a week, and again, most of my friends are in my age bracket. Four days a week during, during weed days on the East Coast. A lot of my friends are married. A lot of my friends have real jobs, which I don't. A lot of my friends have kids. So, you know, they have to deal with their children during the times that I'm streaming. And this, and this, this kind of comes off like an excuse for like some people who don't comprehend adulthood and having a life is that no one's going to come to your stream every single time when they have so much other stuff to do during the middle of the day, when you're streaming during the middle of the day, like maybe if I stream at night or during the morning, it'll be different and it probably will be different. But I stream at a time that's convenient for me in my living situation, not a time for where it's like, okay, I'll factor in these other people. So, and they try their best to support. A lot of the people who, who don't make it to every single stream do a lot of things on, on the background of, of my streams that you won't see on the front end, for example. My cousin who watches my who watch my stream when he when he can, he's military. He's stationed in Germany. So time zone wise, it's all over the place. But he shows his way of support. He's gifted some video games on Steam. He gave me a PC. My PC that I use to play on PC games in as my streaming rig, 
he gave me that and he gave it to me with the words you know to help i, I, I see that you you're trying really hard to become a streamer and that and i feel like you're very you're very good at it and it's my way of showing my support he gave me pc one of my mods who doesn't make it to every single stream he's always in my my party chats when i'm streaming so he doesn't feel like he has been in the in the chat all the time especially again 1.5 average viewers my chat isn't like active to a point where you have a mod there to like police things he has gifted a lot of video games on xbox to help the stream and as well he's generally always subscribed i have another friend named david potato you know him in the, in the community he comes by stream when he has a chance to he's very busy with, with, with work but when he, when he has the chance to, he'll, he'll come come to stream. He'll do some gifted subs. He'll resub himself. And he'll hang out, hang out and chat. You know, there's people like Watch Raccoon Gaming and Blue and you know, my my brother as well who comes through chat. Like, just I don't want to like again. I don't name everybody because it'd be like a long video. But these people all show their different ways of support. And this shows you. This, the point of this is what is support and what can count as support. Support isn't necessarily always being subscribed. Support isn't necessarily giving bits. Support isn't necessarily isn't always donating. Support isn't necessarily watching every single stream. Support can just be, I think you're really good at what you do. I hope you succeed. I'll come by when I can. I'll subscribe when I can. You know, I'll do all these things that I, that I that, that's necessary to be considered supporting when I can. You know, you have to remember when it comes to being a Twitch streamer, a lot of the economics of it is based on other people's disposable income and not only disposable income but disposable time because time is what you're asking for and if you're like me streaming from 3 p.m eastern to you know 6 p.m or 7 p.m or, or later yeah you're going to want a, a, a huge viewer base but it doesn't necessarily have to be those exact people you know you want your growth to be people who aren't necessarily involved with consecration to begin with and i said before the worst kind of mods or the worst kind of viewer is another streamer because they don't have the time to freaking like actually be a regular in your, in your chat but they do have the time to like be someone who comes who comes around here here and there and that's okay no one is entitled to a badge it be a vip via mod no one's entitled to it you don't get it just because you want it you don't get it because you ask for it you don't get it because you come to stream every day you know for a week or you've been subscribed, for, you've been a follower for two months, you've never subscribed, never done anything other than just be a follower for two months. And every now and then you come to chat, that doesn't entitle you to being um, a mod. That's not how it works. And again, it goes back to what I said before about needing one to begin with. You don't need a mod, at least not when you're my size, when you're someone who has, you know, less than 300 followers and again, averaging 1.5 viewers. What do I, what would I need a bunch of mods for? If there's nothing from to mod, you know, most of my important commands are on the timer, so they every 15 minutes they, they, they pop up. So now I don't I need, I need a mod to come in here and freaking like, hey, can you do my commands? You know, there's there's not a lot of uh, stuff going on towards the need to like make sure people are following the rules, make sure no one's posting links, make sure no one's doing this, doing that. I'm a small channel, like I'm a I'm a one viewer Andy as Aspen Go will call it. This is like a pity thing. Like, hey, come watch my, my streams. Like, no, this is the, the talk about how support works and what can what doesn't lead you to being a mod. Because that's annoying. It's been, it's been on my mind for like so long to talk about, you know, people miscon misconceiving that, that misconceiving, I don't know what the proper word will be to use. When, when it comes to like my friends, my VIPs, my mods who aren't here every single day as like not being a supporter because they are great supporters they support me a lot when it comes to like the, the, the stuff on the, on the back end because again i don't have a real job so not having a real job there has to be some people who are out there who, who are supporting me on the back end so i can do this like my mother who pays the internet bill so i can do this yeah she doesn't have to come to my twitter streams being my mom when she does her, her, her own way of supporting the, 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 the channel you know, my friends who, again, even when it comes to like the mod situation, if I need them in chat, they will be. If I said the word CJ, I need you in chat to handle some stuff, he will be. He's using random hard chat with me the entire time. You know, because again, if I have more than 1.5 viewers a stream and I need people to like, you know, manage what's going on in chat, then yeah, I'm going to do someone in chat. So, like, CJ, I need you in chat to, 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 to do some modding. He'd be like, all right, cool. I mean, no problem with CJ. That's a potato. Hey, I need you in chat. My brother, hey, I need you in chat. What time you get off work? Are you free? You know, it's the same thing. Like, if I need them, they'll be there. 
they're not a need because a mod for someone who's my size isn't a need and no one's entitled to it because they feel like they should be you know and it, and it goes back to, to another conversation that, that, that people should have and that's um having an, an agenda are you following my channel with the, for the agenda of there's something for here, here for you to gain like oh you found a, you, you're going around trying to find small creators who can mod you and now you, you you're going to like act like you're a viewer act like you're a supporter of the stream act like you're all these things so you can hopefully one day become a mod and if you don't become a mod you dip yeah, you know, y'all gotta. And this, and this to you viewers out there, you have to like look into yourself on what what it is your agenda is for watching someone's content. You know, for me, I'm a reviewer here on YouTube. I do reviews, I do discussion videos, and you know, and sometimes I post you know some other things as well. I have multiple channels where I do some reactions, do some RFP videos, talk about sports, things like that. On Twitch, a little different. On Twitch, I post. I, I just stream games that I enjoy playing, FPS games and RPGs generally. But conversationally, when it comes to my Twitch stream, I like to talk to people and I like to have conversations. So on my Twitch stream, you come to my chat, we will talk the entire freaking time. No breaks to be talking unless I gotta go take a piss. We'll talk about whatever, be it sports, video games, comic books, anime, you know, movies, music, whatever. It's open, open dialogue. You know, just don't be a bigot. That's like the only rule of my Twitch stream. Don't post links without permission. Don't promote yourself. Don't be a bigot. That's it. You know, and we try to do things in, in, in a comedic way sometimes as well. It's a very chill vibe stream. And again, I'm 31 years old, so it, it, it won't be like Jinxy stream or whoever stream where people are like losing their freaking minds for content. I mean, for viewers, it's a very chill vibe. So that's what that is. And so when people come around and they want something to be different, like, hey, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. It's like, that's not what this is. You know, you can't, you, you don't do, a, there's nobody who can, you know, conduct how a stream goes you're not the streamer it's, it's not a, it's not like some kind of situation to where the chat just because, because you're present you can dictate where things go where you can make someone play a game that you want them to freaking play or you know tell them to say things you want them to tell or, or be a mod that's not how it works but anyways this video is getting too long i don't i didn't want this to be long it was like a five minute video and here we are you know 13 plus minutes 15 minutes whatever um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys on, on, on the next video. We got a, some reviews coming out. We got reviews for Exo Primal that I'm working on, reviews for Spoken that I'm working on. Still got a review, do a review for, for Diablo. I know it's been, been a while. Kind of wait for the new season to start so I can get, get into that so we can add the season to, to the review. Um, in terms of like non review content, I do have a, a top 10 PS PlayStation games on PC that, that I'm working on. So it's a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Come, come to you guys. We just did a video for Mass Effect a few days ago about, about Ashley Williams. If you want to see videos like that again for Mass Effect, you know, if, if just put in the comments of that video that, hey, do one for Jack or do one for Morton, whatever. And, and I will. Um, so, you know, as always, the whole thing is algorithm likes. I'll catch you guys on a live stream or in the next video, whichever it may be. All links to my channels and my Twitch streams are in the box below through Linktree as well. I'll talk to you guys. I'll talk to you guys. I'm out of here. Being boy news, I'm out of here. Deuces.